Hello everybody, welcome to a World of Warship that's game in the Tier 8 Premium Italian Battleship, the Roma. So I've gone from having no Italian ships to half of the Italian ships in probably about a week. Um, so I picked up the Roma, um, I was thinking to get the Maya so I could train up captains, but I didn't really enjoy the Miyoko. And the thought of having a slightly weaker, um, weekly, more weakly armed uh Takao was more than I could handle, so I saved up the extra 10 copper, and I got the Roma, and I'm pretty glad that I did. So, Italian ships have always been very nice. Um, there's a Tier 7 cruiser, and there's a Tier 5 battleship to go. I think with the Tier 5 battleship, I will see whether or not I win it through one of the missions, because uh, every now and again, the mission cycles round and has a Tier 5 or 6 premium ship. Um, there's only a few left, so hopefully Law of Averages, one day I'll get the uh, uh, Giulio Cesare, um, but the, yeah, the Tier 5, well, I might have to wait for an event, or something. Anyway, here we are, we are in the Roma, and the Roma is um, well served by consumables because it has a rapid reload and a precise aim. So the way that I've been using this with the Roma is um, basically in a supporting situation, there's a lovely walk there, nice broadside, thank you very much, is um, I will use the rapid reload, I'll use the precise aim, no, at least the, there's the York gone, um, so we're in a division here, well, we're in our team with uh, Robert Ducky in the Bismarck, and he did a great job of smashing that York down, so I'm going to fire my AP just to unload the barrels, into the Benson, we should also give him a sole false sense of hope because the Benson will be slammed by HE, AP, and, yeah, well, maybe tempted. So the other thing that I do use, and I'm not using it here, but just, um, I do quite a lot in the British battleship, I don't have the precise aiming combo, is I'll use the rapid reload in this sort of situation to make sure that I am able to deal with um, destroyers. Now that will have upset him quite a lot. He's fired his torpedoes. Um, I'll just keep the speed up and turn in. Um, Robert Ducky in the Bismarck is providing a bit of a shield, but no shield required. And that poor man really is a bit of a problem now. Um, we've got our front guns on to him, and basically, in we go. Feels very, very British battleship y, um, unfortunately for them. Um, yeah. Ranger is um, within range, my rapid reload's cooling down, um, Ranger's reversing slightly, and let's basically give his Ranger something to write home about, which we do, 7 hits, a Citadel, and a Module damaged. Um, so unfortunately our rapid reload goes off cooldown, so, well, still interesting enough the Ranger's within range, I'm just reversing off this patch of land. Um, the Ranger's got some torpedoes coming in for him. Target hit. Five hits, not quite so good. Um, it's saved by that ship that intercepts all those torpedoes, good old Colorado. Colorado has fantastic torpedo protection, but yeah, still, it is painful to be hit. Um, and let's just see if we can knock out that Ranger. Um, and there we go, nicely done. So, there we are, a couple of battleships supporting, got a, uh, a, a destroyer out front, operating as a screen, um, basically, and that destroyer out to our right, so this is quite a good combination, so there's two battleships and a destroyer left, but we're unlikely to be um, bushwhacked by a destroyer, in fact the destroyer looks like he's right up in the top left, top right corner. Um, all the way over the other side of the map. So we have, we're up on ships, we're up on caps, um, the carrier's gone, so our, our destroyers are now um, more free to basically go out and do their business, so it'll be, we'll be lucky if we get much more in the way of kills out of this match. But 53,000, halfway in, or two-thirds of the way in, not too bad. Um, and we head through the B cap, we've got an enemy ship there that looks like it's burning. Which can't be good for its health. That's the Amagi. I just want him to come within range. So the Roma has, well, quite respectable range, as you can see. But still, that is on the other side of the map. 
we let them have the front guns we're not going to turn to angle because although I could expose my rear guns it does mean that um, I would uh, lose oh hello one of our friendly ships has gone down that Bismarck is in real trouble the Akatsuki um, so land some shots on him make sure those torpedoes finish the job six hits taking us up to 62,000 and the torpedoes basically finish him off got rapid reload going 10 seconds 9 seconds up well reload before that comes out and we shoot out at the um, at the Amagi taking him down the third kill nice right now we go to HE turn in for this uh, the Sims now the Sims he would like to get alongside and broadside me but I've got Robert Ducky on the other side which means that if he turns too much broadside he's going to get hammered so discretion being the better part of Valor he is turning away and he's fighting um, someone his own size Agar Jamada as it turns out he smokes up um, we hit him once get a confederate award and he's hiding in the smoke well and truly um, getting crossfired by torpedoes very lonely place to be and the ranger takes him down with torpedoes into the smoke there we go nice victory with the roma so the roma is well it's a good ship actually it's um relatively tough it's got good guns secondaries well it's got secondaries um it hasn't got numerous secondaries but it's got fairly fairly good secondaries a small number that it's got um and it's Produces a lot of damage, and that combination of rapid reload and precise aiming against battleships is, is absolutely ferocious. A lot of DPM. Anyway, that's the Roma. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll catch you next time.